All right. We are back in Daddy's kitchen. Hello, everyone. How are you guys doing today? We are back in Daddy's kitchen. How are you doing today, Daddy? I'm great. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank God for this day. I am so glad that we're thanking God for this day. It yes. is a beautiful day. And what are we here to make for our family today, Daddy? We are making fried dumplings. Fried dumpling. Finally, finally, finally. You guys have been asking for fried dumpling for a very long time. So we have cooked up this nice, concise tutorial for you. And Daddy is ready to need some dumpling so that you can put it on the side of all of your great meals. Right, Daddy? Yeah, man. All right. So I'm hey. about to shut up and let you get to it. Okay, I have at least a pound and a half of flour inside here. A pound and a half of flour. And I mean, remember you guys, we're cooking for a big family, so you're gonna have to do what you need. But we're mm -hmm. using a pound and a half right now. This is baking powder. You're gonna put a spoonful, tablespoonful of baking powder. Okay. And what brand is that? Let's see. Magic baking powder. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. All right, all right, Daddy. All right. So, baking powder just went in. And I'm going to use some sugar. Okay. About three and a half tablespoons of sugar. That's White sugar. more than three and a half. Daddy, you and these. Table, tablespoon. That's not, that's more than three and a half tablespoons. That's half a cup. This is a tablespoon. Okay. One, One, two, two, three, okay, four, four. go on through the rest, five, okay. <laughs> some sea salt, some sea salt, About half a teaspoon, okay, Interesting. I didn't know that butter would go in yeah. at this stage. Mm -hmm. Let's see how much butter you're putting in there. And you're using like the real butter, right? Real butter. Mm -hmm. You're gonna break it up piece by piece. Interesting. Okay. You know how it is. You put a little bit more. You want your, your dumpling to be soft and nice. Okay. So that so the butter helps that? Yeah. The butter and the baking powder make it soft and nice. Okay. And I have a twist on this. I'm not going to use water to make my dumpling. I'm going to use milk, 2% milk. But if you don't like milk, you can use water. Yeah, because you okay. usually use water, but today you feel fancy. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna mix up, mix this up with the sugar and the, and the baking powder and the salt. Gotta get your hands so you guys know what you gotta do, right? Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Nobody wants to have dumpling that was kneaded by someone who has dirty fingers. So wash your hands appropriately. And then milk, give it a good flavor. Okay. And soft and nice. Okay. Okay. Pour it first. Okay, so this is a part of the process that, you know, blows my mind because it's like, you gotta move fast, no daddy? No, not really. No. No? You're in control. So you, you pour just a little first, mix it, and then you pour more. And you just keep going like that. You just keep going like that. And you need. Can you over pour? Is there. Yes, and it can become soft. If you don't have any more flour, you're in big trouble. But if you get too soft you, and you have more flour, you just put a sprinkle a little bit. More flour on more top. More flour. I need okay. it. So don't over pour. No. Step by step. Step by step. Okay. 
step by step, little by little. Little by little, you guys remember that? Little by little, say it in the comments. Drop it down below, little by little. You have to take your time. And you need your flour. You gotta put your back into it, guys. Look, look at Daddy. Your whole, <laughs> your whole body your is into this. Into this is a good exercise. Yeah. Okay, you see? Just need more. So you pour a little more. This is a big jug of milk. Yeah, I was <laughs> thinking of getting the smaller one, but whatever, I figured we might need it for something else. Yeah, you need it. It's coming together. Yes. You're gonna need it until it becomes smooth and nice. Mm -hmm. so you use it to get your dough, mm -hmm. and you turn it, get out all those dry ones inside, and what stick at the bottom, knead it. Just so you guys know, I have never successfully made a dumpling ever. <laughs> oh, it's a shame. Oh my gosh. Is it a shame, Daddy? Oh is it a shame? Is it a shame? It is a shame. It really is a shame. That's the whole point of this channel. I was supposed to be learning. So that's why I'm here watching. Okay, Daddy? Yeah. All right. I can see it really, really getting, starting to smooth okay. out. It's not as yes. ripply as it was before. No. Like this, you don't pour the milk or the water in it in the bowl. Just put a little in your hand. Sprinkle it. Then you need. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Hey daddy, have a knock to it, man. Yes. I have to have some upper body strength for this, obviously. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Lad, this is why we're lazy and no one cooking up because why do they? Don't like cooking. Yeah, people who love cooking are probably like eating this up. People who are lazy and just want to get like fast food are like, God, when am I gonna get time to need all that dumpling? But my future children don't deserve a life like that. All right, so fire just got turned on to high heat, right, Daddy? Yes. And I see what looks oil. to be 100% corn oil. And you're not being modest with that oil, are ya? No, it's frying, frying dumpling. Mm-hmm, so you have to have a good amount in there if you're frying dumpling, right? Okay. Okay, put my oil here for now. Okay. I may need it later. Okay. So we're gonna make this oil hot. I'm gonna turn it on to medium because I don't want it hot, hot, hot. I want it just right. Okay. Okay? Because if it's oil is too hot, you put your dumpling in, you're gonna burn right away. Mm -hmm. You don't want that. Okay. Okay? All right. So we're on medium right now then. Yeah. Let it warm up slowly. Okay. All right. So what's the next step? Well, then we make our dumplings. Okay. Put it in the pot. Sister has arrived over. Dumpling. All right. And mm. then we wait. While it's hot, while it's getting hot, I'm gonna prepare some and just put it aside. Okay. All right, so I gotta show them how this is done. I'm gonna get closer, Daddy, because... See what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. You roll it in your hand. Depends on how big you want it. Okay. And you press down. Okay. You see this dumpling, then when you hit the oil, 
It's gonna come right up because of the baking powder in it. It's gonna swell. It's gonna swell. Okay. Because okay. I was like, oh, that looks like the dumpling that you put in soup. Different mm. shape, but it's gonna swell, right? Yeah. Okay. Could make a bigger one. Do a slow mo version of this. <laughs> You're such a weirdo. <laughs> so funny, like. Okay. Press it a little bit. Um, put it one side. The other side. One to your next piece. One. You see, people, I'm putting my love in it. Of course. See? I love in it. Press. Shape it up for you. To perfection. And put it one side. Pull off our next piece. And you put it one side. Thumb and turn, thumb and turn, thumb and turn. Roll. Press. Perfect. And put it one side. Okay, I think this is hot now. Okay. You can see? Okay. But still, I'm gonna put it down lower. Even lower. Yeah. Interesting. I would have been like, oh, maybe higher. No. Lower. Higher is gonna burn. Okay. You want you want your your dumpling to fry evenly. Okay. Good. Nice brown, golden brown, not burn. Okay. So low heat, you guys. Low heat. You gotta take your time with it. Again, patience and love. Patience and love. Get, get it simmering on its booty a little bit. Okay. Okay, we're gonna fill this pot up. So, if you guys are this is if this is your first time ever seeing fried dumpling being made, or if you've never had fried dumpling before, you can have fried dumpling with so many things. You can have fried dumpling with Aki, uh, aki, aki and saltfish. You can have fried dumpling with kalalu and saltfish. You can have fried dumpling with corned beef. You can have fried dumpling with mackerel. With mackerel, you can have fried dumpling with your chicken. Yeah, you can have fried dumpling with so many things. Yeah, with your chicken. You can have fried dumpling with your chicken. You can have fried dumpling with so many things. Okay, today we're actually having it with aki and saltfish. So you guys are gonna have to wait for that tutorial. Tell us down below in the comments if you want an Aki and Sawfish tutorial because a lot of the Instagram people have been asking for Aki and Sawfish, but I want to know if our YouTube family wants Aki and Sawfish because Aki and Sawfish is Jamaica's national meal. And if you really want to cook like a Jamaican, you're going to have to know how to make Aki and Sawfish. No true, Daddy? Yes. Okay. I think everybody wants to see Aki and Sawfish. Because I think Aki so too. Aki and Sawfish is Jamaica's national dish. Of course. It is good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Hmm. Get over here, y'all. Sizzling. Little by little, just a sizzle. Bubble like soup. I'm gonna <laughs> turn it up a little. Right back to medium. Okay. Because the more you put dumplings in, it cut down the heat. Okay, so the more dumplings that go in, the heat goes down? Yes. Interesting. So heat okay. up a little bit. Okay, you're putting the stuff in it. Okay. So why did mommy say specifically to use corn oil? You can't use certain oil, different kind of oil? You can't use, you can't use olive oil to fry your food. I know, because a lot of people ask, oh, can't I use olive oil? Yeah, no, yeah, not for frying, right? No, corn oil is good. It's vegetable oil. 
Okay. It's good for you. Okay. Yeah. So you couldn't have used the grapeseed oil that you guys usually like? Yeah, but she don't want that. Okay. Yeah, you could. But grapeseed oil is more expensive. You use those things for your salads and those things. Okay. Makes sense. Plan. It's going down. This was the first one I put in. Okay. You don't want your oil more hotter than this. Mm-hmm. Give them a nice brown color. So the first time you taught me, Denny, um, I was actually shocked that you were pre, like, that you were flipping it so early, in my opinion, because I was like, well, that doesn't look like as brown as I think it should look. And then you taught me that you keep turning. Yes. I thought you would have to wait all the way for one side to no, get brown, no, brown, no, brown, no, 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 and then no. flip it and then get the other side brown, no, brown, brown. But the technique the is yeah. to keep flipping. Yes. Okay. You hear that, guys? The technique is to keep flipping. Yeah. Daddy, you tell them and before they cuss me off and tell me, say, and I'm me if you tell them, are you if you tell yeah, them? You got to keep turning your dumplings. Okay. That they're heating on the both sides. Okay. Cook. Both sides, the so same you, way, same temperature. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Look at it coming along, you guys. Oh, my dad makes the best, okay? The best fried dumpling. So, pay attention. Okay, I'm flipping, see? Golden coming, golden brown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You just gonna keep flipping and keep flipping and quick keep flipping until them they're not ready yet. So the heat's still on like what a medium right now, Daddy? Medium, yeah. Okay. I would have been the first girl to put that bad boy on high. And burn up everything. Burn up everything in that pot. I turn on the fire. Down. Okay. From medium to a little bit lower. Okay, so yeah. up to like three or two or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Or lower than medium, you guys. Oh, now you're putting them on their side. Get that color. Is it the white color there? Mm -hmm. Some of them will be like that, so you just rest it on the side like that. Okay. Louder, Daddy. Daddy. Yeah, because you guys don't understand. This is a learning curve for my dad because my dad is a very gentle, gentle, gentle spirit and has a very gentle voice, okay? It might be deep, but it's not aggressive and it's not loud. So, I'm the loud one. <laughs> some space. I'm just putting the finishing touch in there. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Last one. Last one in. Okay. You're 
all coming along, you guys. All coming along. And some of them are even inside the bowl already. Look at them. Looking all golden and pretty and things. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Mm. Flaky. Yummy. Ooh. Daddy. Yeah. You put your foot in it again? Again and again and again and again. <laughs> you make a ten fingers and a ten toes. Yeah, man. Yeah. This is love. <laughs> yeah. This is love. Peace and love always.